uh, when I asked what do you do, they said you are work, you are a banker. The first thing that came to my mind is you are working for a bank. But after that, I've learned that no, a banker doesn't only work for a bank. There's like uh, it's like a whole different field on its own. You see, and then within that split minute, I've already learned that oh, you do consultation, you analyze risk. Companies come to you. The moment you mention KPG, I know that you are referring to big fishes in the game. You understand in the finance industry. So it, it sort of opened my brains because I know I own a brokerage firm. I know once I bypass a threshold of 100 million, I know I need to start consulting with the right people. And the right people is going to be people like you. You understand? But you also need to understand that as a trader, you don't need that that level of education you you only need it to a certain extent if you're gonna uh, 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 use it or whatsoever so that is why other normal traders uh, speaking on their behalf as well coming from their field would never understand where you are coming from it will always be an argument but already me being a trader and a businessman who owns a broker, I already understood that once I pass 100 million, I'm going to need to make a phone call to you in order to consult uh, what are the risks and blah, blah, blah. You understand what I mean? In terms of tax and, you know, try it, to make... Uh, it literally the- everything, correct. Literally mm-hmm. everything. Because being honest, I'm black. The moment I have a 100 million, I would want to buy a pri- private jet which is going to be the worst investment decision ever. You understand? So I know I need to consult such the people of, the when I of, get to that level. The head of the helicopter you want to buy, it, it costs 50,000 uh, US dollars. Just the handle of the helicopter. <laughs> you see, helicopter. exactly. <laughs> you see, but but now with lack of information. So with, with traders, it goes like this. And you also need to understand where we come from. We come from an environment of oppression. We were oppressed for almost our entire lives. Yeah, now I'm speaking about yeah. not having access to anything, my G. Not knowing how to drive, staying in a shack and so forth. So the mm-hmm. moment you taste the little money, that's why they all run to Gucci and LV because it makes them feel better about themselves. You can't judge them. you know. Compared- so f- f- <laughs> from somebody in your position sees that as valueless but from some yeah inside he sees it as as something huge because it's something that he never had we 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 have all been through that journey you know it's just totally two different worlds that uh, uh, access information differently i guess in mental health uh, in mental health they they call it compensatory behavior you want to compensate for the lost time that you never you used I'm to one of those bore. trust me and, correct yes yeah, yeah you need to see the boarders wearing the louis vuitton and you used to see them doing whatever they're doing now you you have the money yeah now you started one to flaunt it uh, and uh, buying a house in santon but there's what we call in accounting going concern you know that's when you come to me i want to buy a house in santon is an accountant i'll say no wait a minute yeah don't buy a house in santon because it's gonna cost you a lot of money because in santon you need a guard to guard your house every 24 7 and mm. uh, you want to buy a louis Vuitton, you want to buy a, a mercedes benz it needs to go servicing yeah so at the moment yeah the going concern is not uh it's not allowing that and when i mean going concern i, I mean in the long run, will you be able to sustain that kind of life? Because you don't yeah. want to like buy a house in Santon, then later on you won't be able to sustain it. You won't be able to pay the guard who is guarding the house. You won't be able to 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 sustain the taxes that you need to pay on there. So if I advise you, yes, you have got the money in your account. You have got one two one or two million rands to buy a house in Santon. Yeah, but mm-hmm. for now, yeah. Put all that money in Santon. So, who, where are you gonna get the money to buy uh, to, to to pay for the guard who's gonna buy? Where are you gonna get the money to buy the rates? Where are you gonna get the money to 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 for the business to continue to pay your workers and things like that? So that's when I will tell you that no, hold on, yeah, we are not there yet. I'll let you know mm-hmm. when we're there yet. 
you know so i'm there now to advise and give you an insight you know that uh, you, you you you've got the money that you have in your account you've got uh, f- uh, five million but it's not yes. enough um, you know to do what you want to do you know to plant yeah. and to have five women in the house you know you get finished <laughs> So yeah, yeah. Continue to invest in some other business so that we can have a bigger portfolio and grow. It's all about growing the company, you know. Well, so mm. it, the, 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 that sort of advice about going, we call it going concern. I want you to be in that same position that you are in Santon for the for the rest of your life. Not like you uh, put you in Santon and uh, you you. You, you end up now like uh, the house is being repossessed and being sold because we have taken the money yes, yes, yeah. and uh, you know you got uh, usually when people have money yeah, they start having small small houses like uh, uh, so many wives they buy another one in Santon, another one in midrun so you won't be able to sustain them so and maintain them correct so it's my job now to advise you that now you've got rest to pay, you've got employees to pay, you've got things that you need to do, you've got taxes to pay, you know. So that's where the wisdom comes in now that, no, um, this is where we are. This is how you're supposed to do things because you are dealing with somebody without, uh, who is short, <clears throat> who, who's got no wisdom in terms of uh, uh, looking at things in the in, in long run. Jen, sorry, I just have a quick question, right? I want to know the implication of tax on both sides. Like from your perspective, DJ Coach, I heard you you own a broker uh, and everything. Mm. Well, what is the tax implication for you? Okay. As well as uh, you as a, exhibit as a banker. Like what does tax... Okay. Like, I want to explain tax in your own world and its okay. implications I'll, to you I'll, guys. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll start first and then exhibit will explain the professional side. Now I'll okay. start yeah. first. Oh. Sure. My brokerage firm up until uh, now, since I launched in November last year, we yep. have received over 2 million USD, right? Which you can go to Google and calculate if they want to know how much that is. <laughs> and one thing I've, I've learned, right, uh, is that some things are just bigger than me. So what I did, was I hired professionals, people who deal with that. So as we speak, my G, uh, I have no idea what's going on. I've hired people <laughs> who are educated to do the job. <laughs> then that's because yeah. if, mm. listen, if I did not hire these people, as we speak, I was going to be having about three Rolls Royce as we speak. <laughs> that's what a normal black person would do, right? When yeah. they taste right. that kind of money. But what I did, I said, you know what? Let me just hire professionals. So I don't have much knowledge. I would be lying to people. I hired people to do the job for me. And I said, I I understand. So exhibit will explain the actual Mm -hmm. professional side of things. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Thanks very much for giving me this honor to try and explain, uh, to break it down. Uh, Yes. Yes. When you're doing a business, yeah, you have got Mm. to. All, uh, I don't know, uh, d- businesses, yeah, uh, they, when you say, okay, fine, Nika, you want to start a business, yeah? There is what we call uh, capital. Capital structure. It's saying that your, your, the, the, the capital structure of your business is like you're building a house, yeah? The, mm. the, the structure of the business, there's a foundation, there's, uh, there's uh, you build the wall, footing, and you go up, you do the roofing and things like that, yeah? So in business now, the capital structure, when you talk about investment in capital structure, yeah, it's about uh, how the business is structured, yeah? So mm. in now, the business is either it's structured, uh, ca- the capital structure is um, what you call, you can get a loan from the bank if you don't have money. Yeah, you can get a loan from the bank. Yeah, mm-hmm. or, or, or you can get uh, uh, partners, you know, to do yes. business, you know, yes, so yes. capital structure. So that's very important of how you've structured your business. So let's say, you, for example, I say I want to partner with uh, Ndika. Yeah, Ndika put uh, 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 maybe 80% of the money and I put 20% of the money. Yeah, mm-hmm. we put it in. So if we put that money in the in the business together, we 
operate for maybe three years or whatever, kind of one year. Yeah, if we operate for one year, we calculate that, okay, fine. This is the money that we have had as pro not not as profit the gross gross the, that means we have not deducted all the expenses or anything like that yeah is the yeah. growth yeah so mm -hmm. we calculate all the expenses uh, uh indirect expenses and uh, everything you know uh then we come to the uh, gross profit the profit yeah so that mm -hmm. profit now is shared equally not, not not equally as such yeah but i will take 80 percent of like, but like for example we made a profit of hundred thousand rand yeah so ndika has put in what how, how much he's put 80 percent yeah in the in, in the capital to start the business yeah so in our yeah. profit if we get a thousand yeah ndika will get eight thousand rand and i'll get twenty thousand rand mm. you know that's how the money is paid yeah but the thing is we want the business to go further so we cannot take that profit and uh, eat it and buy Rolls Royce and whatever. We correct, have, correct. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we have to reinvest in the business. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, talking about in terms of uh, taxes, yeah, I don't know what's the tax rate for for for, for South Africa at the moment uh, when you're doing business because some they say you take twenty percent of uh, your taxes when you get uh, maybe five million. We 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 get uh, twenty percent of it yeah if you get more the tax goes higher and it goes higher and it goes higher yes and it, correct and you're also buying like um a, a, you know vehicles uh we call it capital expenditure when you buy a vehicle when you buy a, a, a an office desk when you when you pay your employees and things like that yeah those are things that we need to take uh, into consideration as well so those things now like for example tax yeah it has to be paid that's a priority for a business to be paid you know because you can be uh if the tax man comes to you if you don't pay tax yeah you'll come in close your business you take everything because the tax yeah, that's true. priority the tax man is the priority you know he will take everything so we need to pay the tax man you know before we share the profits or, or, or anything like that you know so it is very important when you're running a business to make sure that you pay uh, the, 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 anything that needs to be paid for the business. Yes, to correct. Go oh, oh. Okay. You, okay. Employees, Just what? Human, resources, human resources, they need to be paid because yeah. they are the ones who are making the business success. So we have to make sure that we pay also our employees, you know, so I don't know what I've explained. I, I, I'll probably uh, want to explain if you ask me.